good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are... I mean, I can't even... I can't even believe it, Brad. I can't even believe it. I mean, every single day I wake up, I just... Is there just going to be AEW figure news? I just get slapped in the titties with AEW figure news every single day, it seems. I swear, every day for the last two weeks, it seems like we have reported on something. We have found something. We have leaked something. And we're not done, Brad. We're still going on here today, guys. And today, we have officially a leaked image of the packaging of AEW Unrivaled Series Number 5. You guys remember the same thing happened with Series Number 4. I kind of thought it was a fake at first. That's why I didn't report on it. I didn't post on it. Then come to find out it was indeed real. And now that same person has came back and we are reporting on series number five now. And I'm going to put the image up for you guys to check out. And we're going to cover all the things and talk about everything going on with it. So let's go ahead and put this image up, guys. Luchasaurus on the back of the box right here. You got the big, beautiful man and specimen that is Luchasaurus right there. Big signature across the back. Luchasaurus double or nothing attire series 5 unrivaled collection with the rest of the wave down below now there's a lot of things to talk about with this and the first thing is luchasaurus is finally here i've been waiting on a luchasaurus for way too long you guys know i've been on here i've been talking about luchasaurus he's one of my favorites in all of aew i think he's super unique i brought him to the pick fed now i can officially have my unrivaled collection luchasaurus figure and you guys will also notice not only are we getting luchasaurus but we got jungle boy in the set as well no information on marco just yet but just having luchasaurus and jungle boy in this is absolutely massive we obviously put it up uh, a week ago or something like that we thought that the target app you know they revealed that wave three was going to have luchasaurus in it they ended up being inaccurate we thought that he would be in series four but eventually he was pushed back to series five which is unveiled right Right here to us so luchasaurus and jungle boy it looks like their attires are going to be double or nothing and uh, i'll put up images of those guys and what those guys should look like what their gear should look like doesn't really matter what gear they go for guys because I'm, I'm gonna definitely be grabbing a couple copies probably even three or four because I love these guys. I think they're fantastic. I use them in the pick fed, as you guys know. So using their official figures over some customs will be grand. Even though I just finished my custom, I'm sure it'll be a little bit before we get these guys. But nonetheless, nonetheless, we are getting them. And I cannot wait to see what their official figures look like. It should be really exciting. So Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy are confirmed for series number five. The rest of the figures in the wave, though, is actually very interesting as well. Because as you guys will see, we have John Moxley. This will be our second John Moxley. You guys know we got our first... First one in series number two. That was a great looking figure. I have a few of them in my collection. I really enjoy that figure. I thought it was the best figure in all of series number two. I like it a lot. It looks like the championship is draped over his shoulder, so I'm guessing it's going to be a John Moxley. It probably won't have the scar on the forehead, or at least the you know the stitched look on the forehead. It's probably going to include the eye patch, if I had to guess. And we don't know what attire it's going to be, so that's kind of you know we don't know if it's going to be the same attire with different head sculpts, if it's going to include a couple different head sculpts. We don't know the whole th the whole thing of it, but I'm guessing he will come with the AEW Championship simply because he has it in the back of the packaging right here which is going to lead us into our other two figures in this thing, which is going to be Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian out of SCU. And they, they have the AEW Tag Team Championships on the back of the packaging in their photos. So I am guessing this will be our first time in the line look at the AEW Tag Team Championships. These will these will come with the you know with the guys in each of their boxes. I'm super excited to add both of those guys to our tag team collections, and we have two different tag teams featured in this wave. I think that's the first time we've seen that. So not only are we getting Jurassic Express, but we're also getting SCU. So I'm guessing that Christopher Daniels will probably come in the next wave, and uh, maybe Marco Stunt. Who knows? We'll have to see. We'll have to see about that and everything like that. A couple things to note also, which we'll get into in a minute though. I want to cover these tag teams real quick it's kind of crazy how fast we're getting tag teams like i feel like we have a bunch already so once this wave completely releases guys that is going to be four total tag teams i do believe that we have seen Counting the Lucha Bros, the Young Bucks, SCU, and Jurassic Express, and I'm guessing that it is only going to get bigger and bigger as we grow. I'm sure Best Friends are coming soon. Private Party is probably coming soon. Of course, we know that in Series 4, we're getting Santana and Ortiz. So this is really big. I I'm excited, man. I can't wait to see it, but I'm excited to get Scorpio Sky and Kazarian in here. Can't wait to see what the championships look like when we get them in hand and everything. I can't wait to see the gear that they give them and all of that stuff. Next up, guys, we also have Adam Hangman Page to 
to round out our series of six. I'm also curious to see who will be the chase variants in this set. You guys know there's two, two chase variants in every single wave, and I'm excited to see which guys end up getting it. It'd be really cool to see Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy get the chase variants, but we'll have to see about that. That would just be what I would like to see. I'd also like to see SEU possibly get them, and I'd be fine with Moxley getting another chase variant. Wouldn't bother me, but Luchasaurus is one that I'd really like to see with Jungle Boy, give them a different look, give them something to search out for and stuff like that, but overall, really strong stuff. Adam Hangman Page, I'm guessing he'll probably be in his longer tights look, maybe. I'm not entirely sure when exactly he started rocking that look, but Adam Hangman Page doesn't really matter to me. I enjoy it. I think his figure will be improved upon from his last one. Same thing for Moxley and stuff. So the more re-releases we get, at least their second figure or their first figures were not, you know, their skin tones weren't messed up. So uh, we know exactly what we'll probably get as far as their skin tones are concerned. The head swaps and things like that are coming soon, you know, because we'll get to interchange those things and stuff as we get more head sculpts and more looks. So that is super exciting. I mean, dude, I just can't believe that we get more and more AEW figure news. It's like, again, it just comes out of nowhere and we just bam, 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 and here it is and it's unveiled to us again. But overall, the full wave looks great. And I think another thing to discuss is that Moxley and Adam Hangman Page were both in those Amazon leaks. You remember the Amazon screenshots that we talked about yesterday? Those were uh, those two guys were on there, and it said Wave 5, so Amazon nailed it. They also had Luchasaurus on there for Series 3, but we already knew that that wasn't right because we knew about Series 3. We have Series 3. There's no Luchasaurus, so we knew that wasn't accurate. We thought he'd be in Series 4. That's not accurate either, so it looks like he is in Series number 5, and yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just what it is, man. So it looks like Amazon was accurate, so I would think that the rest of those figures that are in later series that we haven't already gotten are probably concrete, like the Brian Cage, the Brody Lees, and all of those things. I think that, you know, some of those figures that they unveiled to us, the Unmatched series, all of those different screenshots that we took a look at yesterday are probably going to be pretty damn accurate, but I had to put this up to you guys. I had to see what you guys think of it and everything like that. Did you guys watch AEW Dynamite last night? They cut Luchasaurus's freaking horns off his mask. Made me very upset. FTR did that, so I don't know. That made me upset. Pretty John Brown good episode of, of Dynamite last night if you guys missed it, but Series 5 overall looks great. I'm excited. I like all these guys, so, you know, I, I don't have a problem with it. You got four first time in the lines. Two guys that I've been waiting on forever, and then Scorpio Sky and Kazarian I think are great, and I've been waiting on the AEW World Tag Team Championship, so I, I don't have a football problem with it, man. I'm excited. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to get them in here and see what we officially get. Uh, since this was leaked, you guys know that since this was, I think it was like a couple days after, it may have even been like a day later, Jeremy took to Twitter and ended up confirming it or, you know, like following up and talking about Series 4. I don't know if he'll do the same thing for this, but I would say that this is about 98% accurate. I don't think this is any, you know, I don't think this is false. I don't think this is fake. I feel like this information is pretty solid and we'll just have to see about that. But I'm pretty sure this is good because this is the same person how should you on Instagram is the one that did the same thing with series 4 it completely turned out completely accurate and and everything real the chase variants were real the the screenshots were real the photo you know obviously the photos weren't that clear but they were still right like this is the they were correct on all cylinders so I don't know man it's just crazy with all the stuff we've been getting but before we get out of here guys I did want to put this up to you guys show it off see what you guys thought about it I can't wait for Luchasaurus man it blows my damn mind that we're getting that but let's get into our random shot out before we get the hell out of here. And this random shout out is going to go to Aqua Tejas or Tejas. Tejas. Shout out Tejas. Aqua Tejas. 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 Aqua. Got it. He says Kenny looks like he's going to shoot someone's head off. And I agree, Brad. He looked pretty pissed off and angry. I liked it a lot. I thought it looked great. I, lo I thought the figure, the AEW Series 4, Kenny Omega looks great. And it looks like, uh, he agrees with it there, but huge shout out to Aqua Tejas or Tejas for that comment. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of Series 5 down in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. I would love to hear your thoughts down on it, but another thing I also wanted to ask is if I were to have a figure, if I had a figure released of myself, what three accessories would my action figure, the MDT action figure, come with? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. You'll get an automatic heart. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line. You cross the line, I've been